Hi gorgeous, in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to paint your nails at home and how to do a very easy nail design for Christmas and the holidays. This tutorial is ideal for beginners and I have used affordable drugstore products. All of them are from the Essence Advent Calendar 2020. Like this video if you want to see more nail tutorials and subscribe to get notified about them. As you can see my nails definitely need a change. So let's start with removing the existing nail polishes. For that I'm using the Nail Polish Remover by Ebelin. This is a German brand, you can get it in DM. I believe you can also find it in other countries. It doesn't contain acetone and it prevents the yellow staining. I truly don't like when my nails get yellowy. I'm taking a cotton pad and I start by removing the colors. This Nail Polish Remover doesn't have a very strong scent, however I would like to find something scentless. So let me know in the comments if you have any recommendations. The nail polish remover creates a clean canvas for your products and it removes the nail oils. Now it's time to trim the nails. Mine are growing very fast and I also have long nail beds so I like cutting them very close to my skin with a nail clipper. I prefer having short nails because they are very strong and sometimes I cut myself with them once they are longer. Then I'm taking this nail file by Essence. It has two sides one for shortening and the other for shaping. I'm using the purple side to shape my nails. The shape that I like is rectangular with soft edges and I think it is much easier to create this shape rather than rounded. If you have short nail beds I would suggest the almond or oval shape. This way your nails are gonna look longer. The next step is crucial for the longevity of your nail design. Take the cotton pad that you were using before and remove any dust from your nails. Don't add moisture with water by washing your hands. After that I'm taking a cuticle pusher and with the round side I'm pushing the skin around the nail. This way I'm gonna have more area to paint and my nail polish is gonna last longer. Here I'm taking a base coat by S. This is the older version. You can find the new formula in stores I believe. Using a base coat is important to prevent staining of the nails and also chipping of the nail polish. I'm applying this all over the nail and the tip as well. Don't forget the tip it makes a difference. Let's continue with the first nail color. This is the mini nail polish by Essence. The sticker is just so cute. I start by applying on the center of the nail and then I'm going to the sides. The brush of this nail polish is a little bit smaller and that's the reason I'm doing a lot of strokes to cover the nail with color. Before I go to the next nail I'm cleaning the edges with a stick because I don't want the color to dry on my skin. Don't forget to cover the free edge as well well to seal the deal. If you have applied any product on the skin don't think about it we're gonna clean it in a while. Moving on to this gorgeous nail color with the cutest design ever. This is another mini nail polish by Essence and with this one I'm painting the remaining nails. I like using two nail polishes on my nails. I think it is the easiest way to create a nail design and show that you have tried a little bit. I'm going back to the first color and I'm applying a second coat. That's how you can make your nail polish more opaque. If you can still see some areas that are not dark enough I would suggest applying a third layer as well. I'm doing the same for the shimmery nail polish and immediately you can see that the color looks better on my nails. It's very rare to need just one coat of nail polish so two coats is like a routine for me. Here I'm taking an empty skincare container this is my favorite eye cream by the way. I'm adding some nail polish remover in the cup of it and with a brush I'm gonna clean the edges a little bit more and that's gonna help to make the nail color crispier around the nail. The brush is by Maybelline. It came with an eyeshadow palette. You can also use an angle brush with short and stiff bristles. This way it's gonna be easier for you to clean any remaining nail polish on the skin. On this finger I had a small wound and I couldn't clean it very well. That's why you can still see some redness on my finger. We can't have festive nails without Christmas designs, right? You're gonna need a stick as well. Now I'm trying to figure out which nail design to use and I'm placing them on my nails without touching the nails. I decided to go with this snowflake. With a stick I'm placing the sticker on the nail and after that I'm pushing lightly with my fingertip. 
We don't want any edges of the sticker sticking out because it's gonna be easier to be removed by accident. Also it helps that the nail polish is not fully set and the sticker is gonna stick even better. After that I'm taking the second nail polish and the dotting tool and with this I'm gonna create some small dots on the center of the nail. Try to stay a little bit further away of the skin like what I'm doing here. You can also use a stick for this step. Nothing is gonna stay in place if we don't apply a layer of top coat. This one is the mini high gloss top coat by Essence and I'm using it all over my nails and the free edge. Even if a top coat is clear, you still need to clean the edges with a stick. Wait for at least an hour to do your errands or basically anything with your nails. I usually don't apply any cuticle oil or hand cream on the same day because I don't want to add moisture to my nails. Let me know in the comments your favorite nail products and you can watch next this video here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell and I will see you in the next one. Bye!